These are the games that took forever. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games in development hell. Hell, it's about time. For this list, we're covering both games that have been released and those that have yet to be released. We're judging these based on a combination of development time, hype, and the drama that's associated with the development. Teleporter going up. Number 10, L.A. Noir. An ambitious title from first-time developer Team Bondi, Noir was originally developed as a PS3 exclusive with Sony as the publisher for a 2008 release date. However, year after year the game was pushed back, and the team eventually changed publishers to Rockstar. The huge amount of money invested in the game's facial motion scan technology and the overall ambitious scope of the project caused Team Bondi to go belly up soon after the game's release. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Number 9, Too Human. This game started life as a four-disc PS1 game before developer Silicon Knights moved production to the GameCube before finally settling on the Xbox 360. Oh, and naturally, the game was intended to be part of a trilogy. When it was released, it was panned by critics for awkward controls, bizarre animation, and repetitive gameplay. To make matters even worse, the game was recalled following a court case with Epic Games over a dispute with the Unreal Engine. Youch. This isn't the kind of advisory capacity I had in mind. Be quiet. Number 8, Diablo 3. Originally beginning development back in 2001, fans of the popular series were forced to wait patiently for 11 years between Diablo 2's expansion and this title. The main reason for the delay was the game was scrapped and restarted three times because Blizzard weren't happy with the results. The game finally arrived in the hands of patient fans in 2012 many of whose patients instantly turned to anger with the game's always online DRM and real money auction house. Oh well. Get away from the wall! What in the hell is that? Number 7, The Last Guardian. Being developed by the team who brought us Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, this game was originally announced at E3 2009 with a spectacular trailer that wowed critics and fans alike. And that's all we've heard of it. We were about to write this title off as vaporware, but Sony insists that the game is still in development. Number 6, Aliens Colonial Marines. Aliens was developed by Fox Interactive and EA for the PS2 before being cancelled for reasons unknown in 2001. Then in 2006, Sega acquired the Aliens license and assigned Gearbox Software to develop the game under the same name but it was cancelled in 2008, then later restarted. The game was eventually released, and instantly garnered fame for being borderline unplayable. If we die, it's on you. Number 5, Final Fantasy XV. Back at E3 2006, before the PS3 had been released, the game was originally announced as Final Fantasy XIII Versus, intended as an exclusive for that system. However, with details of the game being kept very hush-hush, Square Enix frequently had to fend off rumors that it had been cancelled. It's now slated as a PS4 and Xbox One title, with release date unknown. Graphics sure do look pretty though. Number 4, Prey and Prey 2. The guys at Human Head Studios must be real perfectionists. First showed off in 1997, the original game went through multiple revisions before its eventual release 11 years after it began development. Miraculously, the game was well received by critics and fans, which led to ground being broken on the development of an ambitious sequel. And guess what's happening with that now? Oh my god, he's a giant. Number 3, Half-Life 2, Episode 3. What was supposed to be a short-length episodic chapter turned into one of the biggest hush-hush tales in the video game industry. No promotional media has ever been released aside from some concept art and employees at Valve refuse to comment on the game. More ironically, in 2006, in an interview with Eurogamer, Gabe Newell said that the reason they went with episodic content for Half-Life was because shorter gameplay chunks were still better than having fans wait six years for their next installments. We'll let you do the math, but guess how long it's been since episode two. 
After Orange Box, we have to get episode three out. We know how the trilogy ends, and there are a bunch of loose ends and, and narrative arcs that need to come to a conclusion in episode three. Number two, Mother 3, AKA Earthbound 2. This is pretty painful for Earthbound fans for multiple reasons. Originally beginning development on the SNES, when that system's lifespan was coming to an end, it was moved to the 64 disk drive. When that failed, it was moved to the N64, then finally to the Game Boy Advance. But it was released when the DS was already on the market, and even at that, only in Japan, much to the frustration of Western fans. However, some fan-made translations do exist for the true fanatics out there. Before we get to our top spot, let's take a look at a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Duke Nukem Forever If you know your gaming history, this one should be no surprise. For 15 years, this game, with the most ironic title ever, was being cobbled together. It went through multiple revisions and ended up switching developers and publishers. And to put an end to this tragic story, when it finally did come out, it was absolute dookie. Front and center was the fact that it seemed to be unable to decide if it wanted to be a retro or a modern shooter, and featured humor that was so outdated it was way past offensive by today's standards. Duke, what's happening to us? Looks like you're f***ed. Agree with our list? Which games made you give up hope for the future? For more top 10 lists that come out each day rather than every decade, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What about the game, Duke? Was it any good? <laughs> yeah, but after 12 years, it should be.